Do you want to make music but have absolutely zero skill? Does the idea of taking your time to learn how to play an instrument sound too hard? Well now, you don't have to worry about that, thanks to artificial intelligence. You can make your own music. With literally zero skill required. You can make songs like this. Beautiful. Or you could even make a song like this. <laughs> Completely not nightmare fuel at all. With the latest advances in artificial intelligence, OpenAI brings us Jukebox, a neural network that generates music, including rudimentary singing, as raw audio in a variety of genres and artist styles. Now in all seriousness, Jukebox is actually really cool. I've been playing it with it for the past couple of days, and what it can do is actually really incredible. Just listen to one of the examples that they provide on their website. Granted, that's a little weird, but it was a lot better than the ones that I originally shown, which I developed myself. The song you just heard was modeled after Katy Perry in the pop genre, and they filled in random lyrics for Katy Perry to sing. And there are other good examples on their website, country music in the style of Alan Jackson, rock in the style of Elvis Presley, even heavy metal in the style of Rage. So clearly there's some success in the jukebox model being capable of producing music like that. And yes, it sounds a little grainy, and it sounds weird. Emphasis is put on words in ways that we wouldn't normally put emphasis on them, but it is technically music that somebody might listen to. Also, while the majority of the songs that I managed to produce using the jukebox model were terrible, at least one of them came out all right. That of course we have some of them, like this one, which sounds like a literal demon talking to you. Anyway, today I'm going to go over a little bit about how Jukebox works and show you guys how you can make your own Jukebox song. You can take a look at all the materials that I'm going to show you on OpenAI's Jukebox site just by looking it up. They provide their code and a paper along with a summary overview on their website. So what makes Jukebox really cool is how it changes music generation from previous work. 
Previous attempts at generating spontaneous music through the use of artificial intelligence use encodings that input data in a symbolic form similar to a piano roll. It would look similar to this, where notes are distinct and each green spot in this space represents the note playing. However, Jukebox models the raw audio directly. And what that means is, when they train the model, they input the exact waveform of all of the music data that they have available. And this is what a waveform looks like. All of these peaks and dips can be represented mathematically in a sequential format. And when you think about it, this is really incredible. Because when you model something using a piano roll, you have maybe 88 different notes to pick from, and you can build a song from those notes and knowing when they're going to play. But in a waveform format, there are millions of data points. Every second of music data that you have sampled at 44,100 hertz, which is fairly common for most songs, is going to have 44,100 different data points. So for a three minute song at a 44,100 hertz sampling rate, you're going to have approximately 8 million data points. Seeing that number, it probably makes sense to you why we haven't been able to do this before, because very few machines today will be able to even handle that level of processing. It's a very common reoccurring theme in neural networks and artificial intelligence that all of the stuff that we wanted to be able to do with them, we simply couldn't several years ago because our computers didn't have the processing power necessary to do some of these things. I can't imagine how long it took, even for a supercomputer that they're probably using, to be able to process 1.2 million songs. Luckily, the ability to train that model is not required for us to be able to use the model. The model itself actually takes up much less space than all of that data. So, how do you make your own music with Jukebox? Well, the easiest way is to use Google Colab. Google Colab. Google Colab is a service that will allow you to run Python code in a notebook format. You can find it by going to their site, clicking View Code, and then in their README section, they will have a link to their Colab. And you can simply run through all of these steps. This step shows you what GPU is being used. In this case, it's a Tesla P100 and has about 16 gigs of RAM import your libraries and before you go to this next step create a new section and paste this code this will allow you to mount your google drive and save all of the songs that you make directly into your google drive it will link a url and in that url you'll be asked to sign in with your google account before you can copy this paste it into the authorization code section and hit enter you will now be able to save content directly into your Google Drive. And down here in this section of code, you should have something like this, where you reference my drive and then create a folder of your choice. Mine's called Jukebox. All of these other default parameters you are welcome to keep. This particular piece of code takes a couple of minutes. It takes long enough for me to browse memes on my phone. And when that is finally done, you can run this. It just specifies how many seconds you want to generate for your audio. And in the next section, you can specify an artist, genre, and any lyrics you want in your song. To find out what your options are for genre and artist, you can go to Jukebox's Sample Explorer. You can search for any artist and genre and see if it's available. And for lyrics, you can come up with your own, or you can use a random text generator or any other text that you find and see how the model handles it. And don't worry, this section will print out a warning if any of the artist or genre selections you've made are not available. This section specifies a couple of more parameters for your model. The sampling temperature determines how weird you want it to get. For example, a value of one will mean that you want it to not take too many artistic liberties in changing the song. And finally, you'll get to this step where you'll run the sample function that is the main driver for the Jukebox neural network. They say that this section of code will take approximately 10 minutes per 20 seconds of music sample. 
I've found in my circumstances that it actually takes a lot longer. But once you finish running this section of code, you can then listen to your high level audio by running this. It should also exist in your Google Drive that you mounted earlier. It will store the waveform file in a folder called level two. There are three levels, zero, one, and two, and level two will sound the most grainy. We will upsample the waveform later on to make it sound a little cleaner, and that will be a level zero. This section of code will clear up some of your memory, so it'll make the next part a lot faster. And then finally, you can run this upsample function. This will take several hours. And as they state here, Google Colab lets you run for 12 hours. That theoretically should be enough time for you to complete this so you can start running it as soon as you go to sleep and hopefully wake up in the morning to a completed song. But in the case where you wake up and your song isn't complete, there's a good chance that it took longer than 12 hours and you got disconnected from their server. And that's it. If you have any issues, feel free to reach out and I can try and help. Thanks for watching.